They believe black women, dark skinned black women deserve crumbs. Colorism is real and they think that we deserve crumbs and that we shouldn't have any standards. I mean, I was getting so many messages and comments saying, you're dark skinned, why do you have all these standards? The only reason why that video got them really upset was because it basically told them to do better. And they do not take well at all to being told to do better, as you can clearly see. And it's because they are not required to. They are used to giving women nothing, giving women crumbs, but then receiving the world back. So when they were watching my video, they were so upset. They were like, oh, no, no, no. You want me to take you on a proper date? A proper date when all I'm used to is inviting women back to my house? almost done but listen to all the black women that are in here right now to all the women in here right now in general please sh do me and yourself a favor share this live with all your homegirls that's on tiktok you know i want to I, I really am interested it's not even that i want to hear i'm interested to hear what you know women have to say on this you know i don't date men so i, I can't i can't speak i can't speak to this um but I, you know, I do want to hear what the woman have to say. So please do yourself a favor, share the live, um, and tap the screen too, please. We want to get all the engagement we can get in here. Okay, let's l keep on listening. Let me re re rewind it a little bit. Talks about this, but they believe black women, dark skinned black women, deserve crumbs. Colorism is real, and they think that we deserve crumbs and that we shouldn't have any standards. I mean, I was getting so many messages and comments saying, you're dark skin, why do you have all these standards? The only reason why that video got them really upset was because it basically told them to do better. And they do not take well at all to being told to do better, as you can clearly see. And it's because they are not required to. They are used to giving women nothing, giving women crumbs, but then receiving the world back. So when they were watching my video, they were so upset. They were like, oh, no, no, no. You want me to take you on a proper date? A proper date when all I'm used to is inviting women back to my house or inviting women on a nature walk as a first date or inviting women to my car to link and smoke. You want me to actually put in effort? No, I'm not used to that at all. They are literally in my comments saying, what makes you think you deserve a meal? You need to prove yourself. And when American black men say that you need to prove yourself, that just basically means you need to go through hell and back with him. They don't want to put in the effort because they're lazy they are entitled and they are cheap and don't get me wrong it's not all american black men that are like this it's just the large majority and that is a problem because the majority of black american women prefer black american men but there are not enough good black american men to go around so yikes 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 hello hello how do I say it? It's Sufra. Sufra, how are you doing uh, tonight, Sufra? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. Have you and I spoke before? I don't. I don't believe so. No. I don't think so either. I don't know why. For what some <laughs> reason, your profile picture looks familiar to me. But, but anyways. What you what you think about that audio that you just heard? You 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 agree? You disagree? You agree with some? You disagree with some? What you what you got um, to say? I agree. I I agree to a certain extent. Um, I feel like um, what she's saying is um a little bit accurate, but I feel like she is um taking taking it out on all of i mean she did say some and she did say majority so i don't even know it's mostly um modern black men and um i mean it's sad but i mean from my personal experience they don't want to take a woman out on like an actual date like and like not even they'll do it but like as far as like introduction wise as far as like the first date no they'll be like okay well i don't know you but they'll like for like a job interview they'll put on the suit they'll put on they'll make a good um 
they'll make a good introduction for themselves when they go to a job interview. But as far as, you know, meeting the woman, no, they'll be like, oh, let's go. Like, and I, I have, I have heard about that Um, as far as um getting a woman and then both of them, they smoking. Um, I have an encounter with that because I don't smoke. So, and they know I don't do nothing like that or drink. But um, I feel like it's sad. But I mean, it is what it is. Right. I don't. My bad. No, you're fine. I don't. I don't. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't smoke or drink either. Um. And you know, like I said, obviously, I don't date men. But you know, um, I've heard for the longest time about, like you said, if a woman does smoke, if she does drink, um, like you said, instead of you know taking her on a proper date, whatever that means because that's subjective right depending on the woman um but like you said it will be like you know let's let's like smoke or let's go drink or something like that but i'm only a few years older than you so i'm 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 curious to hear you know you said you you know you you don't 100 percent agree with her but you agree with her for the most part why do you think why do you think a lot of you know american black men in their early to mid 20s maybe even to late 20s um why do you think that they don't you know or aren't prone to actually want to like court a woman and take her out on a proper date um because there's no sense of direction and as far as um like <sighs> I want you to do an experiment and maybe the men on the panel, I want you to ask, ask them their religion. And most of them will say that they are spiritual. So with that being said, there's no path. They're always, um, Oh, well, you know, I'm gonna just see where this goes. Like for me, with my experience in dating anytime um like i'll like i'll like i'll have a conversation with a guy and he'll be like oh like oh what are what are your plans like what what do you where do you see yourself in the next two years and they don't say oh well, i plan to get married the first thing that they say is i plan on you know my business and having children they don't say marriage they don't say having a wife and because that's not an expectation they did and and i get it men they some men they don't wake up and be like oh i want a wife because it's not on their to-do list like and they be like, oh, well, why about a cow when you could get the milk for free? Like, I, I I, don't get it. I mean, if I mean, but I do feel like some men after them sleeping with, you know, this one and this one and this one, they get like an emotional detachment and they don't really know how to build an emotional connection with these women and, you know, just be on the correct path. But that's just them. They don't there's no guidance in especially in the fathers, how the way, um, you know, the house is, it's, it's either if, if the mom is in the house or the dad is in the house, it's, it's really corrupt. But I mean, no one is guiding them and they're not going to listen to the woman because they're a woman. So and the, the men, the fathers, they don't even have a sense of direction because they didn't have um good father figures in their life so i mean it is what it is okay uh uh one one second uh suffer miss hey you and laureen i'm coming right to y'all i just want to ask uh suffer a couple more questions so you talked about you know um marriage not being like at the forefront of you know a young man's mind which is true for the most part and honestly it shouldn't be um, a young man should be prioritizing, you know, his self-improvement, um, you know, just evolving as a young man, um, getting himself situated financially, becoming financially stable, paying off debt, whatever, whatever the case may be. OK, Miss San Diego, I'm going to play the video uh, for you after uh, Suffra is done talking so you can hear it. Um, but I mean, even 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 with marriage not being at the forefront of a lot of young men's minds. 
Um, a lot of young men still want to date women. They still want to sleep with women. So the point I'm trying to make is even if he's not trying to get married, whether he is or whether he's not trying to get married, I don't think that should have any correlation to him, you know, actually being able to take a woman out on a date. Um, do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? I mean, it all I mean, with with, with you saying that, I do feel like that will correlate to how the way that man um, views women and does he respect women enough to actually take them on a proper date gotcha. as far as just, you know, oh, let's go sit in the car and let's smoke all all night and, and I'm going to see if I'm going to hit you or not. You I know what I mean? You. So, but I mean, this is this is this is 2024. This is the generation that we're living in. Okay, and this this is the last question. Then I'm gonna go to you. Hey, you, uh, suffer. Do you think that? Do you think? Um, because I didn't hear you mention this, and I just thought about it. Do you think? Um, a young like you know like young black boys even today. Do you think them growing up with a father or seeing their mother in like a healthy relationship? You know, uh, seeing having a father figure, a, a a man in their life and seeing how he interacts with women, do you think that has an effect on, um, you know, like a young man's psyche as he's dealing with women, like when he grows up? Cause like, if he, I'm just saying, because if he never, if he never saw a man court a woman, if he never saw his mom go out on dates, whether it be by um, his dad or whoever the father figure may have been in his life, if he even had one, do you think that has any part to play? Yeah, like um I feel like the the father has the 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 son is looking up to his father. So it's up to the father to show how good he's treating his wife. Yeah, you, you, that's your wife, but at the same time you still have to take your wife on dates. At the same time you still have to give your wife flowers. At the same time you don't have to, but as a form of showing love instead of just showing oh let me show you how I could pay these bills that's what I'm talking about with um, emotional connection as far as let me show you how I can treat your mom by um, rubbing her feet when she when, when I get home and let me show like they don't some of them don't know how to do that some of sometimes they just be so worried about themselves when it's supposed to be mutual it's not supposed to be one-sided where it's all about oh well just just because i pay the bills it's supposed to be about me 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 when it's both a partnership both of you are working together to sustain a successful family and a, a, a better platform and and that should would that's what should, we should be striving for, especially in the black community. But I don't know. We have a lot of rage. We have a lot of infidelity. We have a lot of um, we have a lot of demons that be coming inside of our homes, and we let it. We let them come in, and I don't know. We just get off of the path, and I mean, I mean, people gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day. Okay, last question before I come to you. Uh, <laughs> so, Suffer, do you do you um have? I know, like we're young, but do you have any intentions to like get married or and or have a family one day? Oh yeah, um, I do. I, I do plan on it, but uh, me personally, I haven't met the correct one, and it's really hard. And as far as with this black woman. You know, she's upset because she hasn't found a correct one. And she's like, oh, well, maybe I just need to, you know, venture out into and she, she now she a passport girl a, a girl. So I'm like, OK, well, that's not going to solve your problems, which is what's going to solve your problems is keeping your standards high and keep having faith in God and knowing that he will put you on the correct path because she just like, oh, well, it's all all of these men. It's not all of them. And you I understand like time, you know, it's wasting and you be scared that your eggs go end up drying and da, 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 da. But let me tell you something, Sarah, she was old and she still had a child, but she had faith in God 
and she had her child. She had a baby and she and she was married as well. She did the correct thing. So you always have to have faith in God. But if you just oh, well, I'm going to just go out the country and spend all this money and do this and do that just to find a man. No, he's going to come to you. He's going to come to you. I promise you he will. And if he don't, then that's okay. At the end of the day, all you need, all the, the, the man that you need is God. That's it. That's it. And until you are okay with that, until you okay with being alone, that's when you're going to find your man. But until then, you just going to be, oh, well, I'm just going to be alone and I'm just my age going to drive. Like, it's not even, you ain't even got to be all of that. Be prepared about, be prepared with being alone. That's all. Be prepared. Yeah, I said passport, sis. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ms. Suffer. I'm going to come right back to you. I want to play this audio one more time again. There are any women that, you know, date American black men, um, have dated American black men. Um, and you can speak to what I'm about to play for you. Please um, request to come up. I'm going to play this one more time, and then I'm going to have Miss Hey you speak, and then Laureen or Lauren. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm gonna have you speak uh, right after her. Shout out to my sister Tierra in the building. Tierra, I would love for you to come up and um, you know give your opinion on what I'm about to play as well. Good to see you back on the live. I don't even look, I don't even know who that is, but appreciate you. I ain't been on here since October of last year. Uh, see, thank you. I was going to ask you to mute your microphone. I'm going to go ahead and play this one more time and we're going to get to it. Okay.